Me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode four on how to make your own zombies map in Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add dog spawners, aka doggies. All right, so first things first, I'm going to have a link down in the description and it's going to direct you right to this page. And if you look, it says installing the spawner prefab. Now, this is a download. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this dot map. You're going to click on this link right over here. It's going to show you a little download link. Click on download. It's going to download for you. Now we're going to navigate to where this file is. You're going to select it. You're going to right click. You're going to go to copy and exit out of that. Now we're going to navigate to our world at war. Well, it's world at war. We're going to navigate to our Black Ops 3 <laughs> folder. Wow, that's crazy. All right, so uh, local disk C, program files x86, just in case you don't know where it's at, Steam, Steam apps, common, and Black Ops 3. And we're going to go into map source. Double click on that one. Go into underscore prefabs. Should be right at the top. And we're going to go into ZM because this is the zombie mode um, folder. We're going to go to ZM core. And here we go. Here are your essential prefabs. So we're going to right click and you're going to click paste. And you're going to paste it in. It's going to show up anywhere around here. There it is. Now we already have that covered. So uh, let's open up a map in radiant black. Now I already have one open. So what you want to do is you want to open up your entity browser. So click on B. There you go. Mine's is right over here. Let me stretch that out a little bit. Now you want to go over to MISC and Prefab. With Prefab selected, left click and drag it over to your map. And now it's going to open up a dialog box. So we're going to go into ZM. We're going to go to ZM Core. And we're going to look for dog spawner. There it is. Double click it. And if you zoom in, we have a dog. Where is he? Where are you, buddy? There you go. All right. And now this is a prefab. So in order for it to release the items, we're going to have to stamp this prefab. So we're going to go up over here. It's going to say prefab right next to patch. Click on prefab with the item selected. You're going to click on stamp prefab, hit that, and it releases the items. All right, so now the dog, we're not going to have, we don't need to leave him up here on the map because we're not going to see him anyway. So we're going to drop this bad boy under the map. Peace out. There we go. And now the struck, this is a script struck right over here. So that, we're going to zoom in a little bit. And you see where the line is? You want to match that up with the floor. And that's perfect. So it's halfway in the floor. Hit escape. And that's it. And if you see this red line, that means it's directing straight to the volume, which is the start zone. So, of course, the dogs are going to start because of the start zone. If you move up, you can see that this is the volume right over here. And it, let's say if you don't want the dog spawning in the start zone or at least being activated by the start zone and you have a different name for your zone, you would just uh, select the struct, press N for entities, and it should say target name. And most likely you would just have to just change the target name. Mine's is start zone, so I'm leaving it the way it is. But once you see that line going through, that means you know you got it right. And, but uh, it's the way the prefab is, it's just drop, stamp, and play. And that's pretty much it. So what you're going to do is you're just going to save the file. Click file, click save, and Bob's your uncle. So if you like the video, hit that like button and subscribe, man. I got more content coming. If you guys are into um, making your own X models, you know, uh, it's download Maya. You can get Maya for free. I know it's up to like 2017 right now. You know, if you go to the Autodesk website, you can sign up as a student 
and you can get Maya for free. They'll probably give it to you for like a year. I just did that a few weeks ago. So if anybody's interested in making your own X model or importing your map into Maya and modifying it there, you know, uh, just let me know and I'll drop a video on that. So uh, it's, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.